In this episode of the No Mouse Excel series, I'll show you why F4 is probably one of the most powerful productivity tools I've ever used. In fact, it probably has saved me countless hours on the job, and if I learned it sooner, I probably could have had a second life outside of the office. Without further ado, let me teach you a simple yet highly effective trick in Excel. <music> I think the easiest way to show you the power of F4 is to demonstrate a couple examples and you'll quickly get the hang of it. Let's say we we're reviewing this typical trial balance exported from an accounting system. And as we review the account balances, we want to flag certain balances to follow up on later. So I see this extremely negative cash on hand balance I want to flag and for all my CPA auditors out there, you know your spidey senses start tingling when there's a negative cash balance on hand. As such, I'm going to quickly flag it with a yellow background. After a couple rows down, I see another entry I want to flag yellow. Am I going to suddenly turn into Picasso and use the format painter? No! Am I going to use a bunch of keyboard shortcuts like before and highlight it again? Absolutely not. Ain't nobody got time for any of that. Instead, I'm going to use the force and press F4. Oh, I see another balance I want to flag. What do I press? You guessed it, F4. If you haven't picked up on the power of F4 yet, I'll show you another example. Let's say I want to group these cash sub balance accounts together, rows 5 to 9 in our case. Well, as we learned from the other video, Navigate Like a Pro, we can easily select these rows by hitting shift plus space, then hold down shift to select multiple rows. After that, from the group like a god video, we also learned that we can easily aggregate these rows by hitting alt A, G, G. But even I think my own shortcuts take too long. It's all about productivity here. Instead, the next time I wanna select, and group some rows, but what do I press? You guessed it, F4. Before I give you the official explanation of F4, one last example. Let's say I know this loan payable balance and some other numbers were exported incorrectly and the numbers should be in thousands but the system exported them in dollars. I need to divide these numbers by a thousand. As we learned from the copy pasta special video, I'm going to enter a thousand, then hit pasta special or alt E S and then I for divide and divide my loan payable balance by a thousand. Oh, look, there is another error here and here. So what do I press? You guessed it. F4 for both. As you can see, F4 is extremely powerful, especially if you find yourself with a mini sprint of repetitive tasks to do. In a nutshell, F4 basically repeats the last formatting task you perform. And what's great is that you can edit cells in between these tasks. So for example, if I wanted to highlight something like so, but then edit these values in this other cell, I can do that. Then hit F4 again and replicate the last formatting task, which was highlighting a cell. From my experience, Excel won't forget your formatting task if you do simple edits such as writing in cells, pressing enter, and hitting backspaces as you format. A formatting task, on the other hand, are actions such as changing the font color, changing the background color, grouping, hitting delete, performing math functions, applying borders, etc. And if you want to change formatting tasks, you, you can simply do it. And the next time you hit F4, voila! Before we continue, if you want to see more pro efficiency tips, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, let us know if you have any requests or topics you would like to see related to No Mouse Excel in the comments section below. But wait, there's even more. 
I'm going to show you how to turbocharge F4 by combining it with another favorite shortcut of mine, Copy Pasta Special. You might have picked up on it in the early examples I showed you, but just to give you some perspective, this is like when Kaiba uses the polymerization card to combine his Blue Eyes White Dragons into Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Okay, I'll, I'll stop geeking out on Yu-Gi-Oh! and Excel. I'll save that for my next day. Again, the easiest way to show you a turbocharged F4 is use an example. So let's say I want to dress up this trial balance a bit to make it more viewer user friendly. I'm going to add a slight gray background to the subtotal rows, bold the font and then apply a top black border. However, you see the problem here if we use F4 right after. It's only going to pick up our last formatting action which was applying the top black border. But I kind of want all three formatting actions together. You know, the gray background, the bold font, and the top black border. Well, what I'm going to do is use the copy pasta special format formula or alt e s t to copy and paste the format I want. The copy pasta special format I just did now becomes my last formatting action and I'm in business. I can quickly go across the rest of the trial balance and press F4 on the rows I want to apply my last formatting action. So boom, 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 and boom. In summary, to turbocharge your F4, you can combo it by stuffing in as much formatting changes as you want, applying a copy pasta special format formula on it, then hitting F4 to apply that packed format in seconds. Let's do a quick pit stop at this point and put all the videos together. I'm going to show you how F4 is essentially the cherry on top of the sundae but applying it across everything we learned so far. I'll show you bits and pieces of each video to show you just how powerful everything is together in your day to day work when you truly master Excel but I would still highly recommend you check out each video individually if you want to learn in depth, in full detail, that specific aspect of Excel. So let's format the first account balance here so it's more viewer friendly. And then right align it like this. But we want to apply this format to all the other account balances so we can copy it. Then using the copy pasta special formula or alt EST for format, apply it across the entire section of the trial balance that we want. Perfect. My account numbers here are also screwed up. Some are left aligned, others exported right aligned for some reason. So let's select the entire column A by hitting control plus space, then right aligning everything. Much better. I also want to group some of these rows together. For example, rows 5 to 9 all relate to some form of cash. Well, that's easy. Let's select rows by using shift plus space, then down arrow, then group or aggregate them by hitting alt A G G. Even better, we also learned that we can hide a group by hitting alt A and H for hide. But wait, here comes the power of F4. I see down here there is another group of similar accounts, the infamous property and equipment. And instead of going through all those shortcuts again, I'm simply going to highlight rows 17 to 20 and hit F4 and boom, grouped. To finish off, let's demonstrate again a turbocharged F4. I want to highlight all the total rows in my trial balance here. So for the first one here, I'm going to apply a gray background color, bold it and then apply a black top border. I'm then going to use copy pasta special to save this format and apply it to the next total here using Alt E S T for format. But I've got a couple more totals to take care of and I'm certainly not in the mood of pressing that many keystrokes again. Instead, I'm simply gonna go to each total and tap, you guessed it, F4. I haven't shown you this yet, I, I will soon, but I can also quickly auto size column widths like so. Beautiful. I'll definitely do another video on all these little tricks that make life in Excel just so much more pleasant and, more importantly, efficient.
I really hope you are saving hours at work with everything I've taught you so far, but honestly, we've only just cracked the tip of the iceberg. Join me next time as I show you how to efficiently navigate and easily trace those god-awful large Excel formulas using precedence and dependence, but this time in expert mode.